Hello. In this video I will demonstrate how to install Kona Kart's Community Edition. On the desktop here I have the setup for version 7.200. If you're using another version the process will be very similar. Continue, yes. Next. There's the license agreement, accept, and this is the default installation um, folder on Windows. We use that. Uh, now this automatically finds the Java runtime environment that I have set up. If you want to use a different Java environment, then you just enter it here. I'll take this one that it's found, that's fine. The default port for Kona Kart is 8780. You can change it here if you wish. And just to confirm these settings, a, a super user account is created for the administration application with the username admin at konakart.com with password princess. In this first stage of the process, um, the, in the files of Konica are copied into place. It's growing with every release. I think it's now up to 130 megabytes, so this can take some time on a slower machine. Now for the database. The installer automatically, automatically populates your database with Kona Kart's tables and uh, sample data. So you choose between the five database types here and now you have to enter the database URL. Now earlier I created a, a schema called Kona Kart in my MySQL database. I shall leave this uh, username and password as it has here. It does a quick check to check that your URL and the credentials are usable. So here we have a successful test. It, if they had been incorrect for any reason it would have said the test was unsuccessful and then you could go backwards and set uh, the credentials or the URL correctly and try again. But we're OK here, so we'll proceed. Now here I get the chance to either create the tables for my Kona Kart database or not. I will ask it to create the tables. So now here it is populating my MySQL database tables with data. We create some sample products and uh, languages and so on so that you can actually um, run Kona Kart and have a play with it. When it gets to the end here, if it says SQL executed successfully, that's good news. That means it's, uh, it's worked successfully and the next button will, will show up. If there's a problem, um, then uh, you will see an error here and uh, those can be difficult for the installer to correct, so you may have to take some action to um, correct the problem. And that is the end of the installation.